Hi guys, PJ here today with another short Fallout 76 video, bit of a guide for maybe some of you newer players to the game and I'm going to cover what I class as the game's worst foe. Okay, so you may have tackled Scorch Beast Queen or Windigo etc etc. To me, the most difficult thing to tackle in this game is controlling your weight or how much you can carry of it in that, uh, in that sense. So there's a lot you can do in the game to tackle weight problems as you go. So whether you're fresh out the bolt, just put your pit boy on, got your 155 carry weight available to you. Yeah, that's not going to sort of last two minutes should you actually go out the vault door and start in Appalachia. There's tons and tons of things you're going to go for out there and collect and pick up. And to be honest, you may think, you know what, I'll just stay in the vault. It's that daunting. It is that big a deal so a lot of builds do center on things like uh, best weapon build best melee build etc etc stealth build i don't see many videos out there centering on weight so if you're a hoarder you like collecting things and crafting and building you know all your camps up and everything this video might be for you so first off let's get into it armor there you go as the slide shows you can have normal armor pocketed and deep pocketed and you can also you know have variations on that depending on what type of armor so for example some armor will only support a plus five carry some will support a plus 15 carry depends what piece you're using you'll have to check next you're on a power armor frame the basic power armor frame will give you 50 yeah 50 as this current clip shows it doesn't actually matter what pieces of armor you've got on that power armor frame normal our power armor frame is 50 carry weight excavator however is the daddy now if you've got calibrated legs like the one in the frame there that is plus 100 for excavator and then plus another 100 if you've got both legs with the calibrated mog mod mog mog is a cat mod yes mod is the word we're after so normal ones doesn't matter there ultrasight t51 no real improvement you can put calibrated legs on them but it really isn't worth it you might as well just use an excavator and be done with it i mean if you want a high powered army you know something that's going to protect you in bad situations and a bit of carry weight then fair enough if you've got the flux to spare but otherwise look at that normal power armor 220 carry weight on my character okay so that's the standard that's not got calibrated legs and here we have the excavator the excavator having the calibrated legs that's both legs it's 50 per leg it's a very expensive mod to do though bear that one in mind and then you'll see the overall carry weight for this power armor is at there you go 370 that carries a ton of stuff yeah so pretty good one to have sure you'll agree basic power armor frame from level 15 so bear that one in mind very handy to know next up we're on backpacks small backpack plan from morgantown airport 15 carry weight depending on your level normal backpack 60 weight depending on your level and then you can mod that high capacity mod for another 60 on top of that very very handy but you've got to do your tadpole challenges etc to get all that together moving swiftly on yes this is a bit of a rapid fire video guys there's a lot to get through and i don't want to bore you to tears with hours and hours of video so here we go perk cards there's a massive amount of weight on these now as you can see there's a lot of cards here and i'm not even using them all but as you can see as i'm flicking through them there they can all be leveled up to two or three stars and they all affect the weight of different things now yes you combine all can combine all these as you see there i've got strength maxed out on 15 this character is not actually finished on its build yet i've got to tweak a load of stuff around when i get around to it but strength is a pretty big one and there you'll notice i've got some more there on intelligence and also agility through hiker is an amazing one to have you would be actually quite surprised how much food weighs when it bulks up so just bear that one in mind that's a good one to have and seeing as we're on perk cards and overall weight watch out for gunpowder guys gunpowder is in your miscellaneous tab and gunpowder could weigh a ton so let's get on with the next thing food oh wow food guys all these different foods do all these additional carry weights so they will add that for you depending on what your weight is so here we have 275 carry weight we're going to get some grilled radstag eat the grilled radstag when we've cooked it that is and you'll notice it go up which i'll show you very very shortly now the good thing with food is food can, can be combined with other things so say you had your grilled radstag yeah 
and you had a whiskey. Whiskey is plus 10 carry weight, so that will add on top of the grilled radstag. You could then have, um, say, a buff out, or you know, even better one than that. You can go higher than buff out, but say you had a buff out, that will also add on top, so they will stack, which you will see very, very shortly on this particular video. So there's an awful lot of weight addition that you can do to your character just by introducing the right bits and bobs. Now, if you're later on in the game and you can afford it, if you buy the marsupial um, mutation, that actually adds carry weight as well as the ability to be able to jump really, really high. Normally people just think about the fact that you can jump high and it's really useful for that, but it does actually add carry weight as well. So here we go, we're about to eat the Radstag. We're at 275, 285, and now we're going to go down and do what I said. We're going to go and eat the drink, eat, drink the whiskey. There's the whiskey look. Gone up again, we're on 305. Go back up to buff out. Like I say, ideal thing to combine this is so you can carry a ton of stuff. There we go, buff out going on now, and we've got 315. Now, if we'd have gone for the one below it, the buff tats there, I've only got two of them on this particular character, so I didn't want to waste one. You actually got a plus three on strength, so you get another 10 out of that on top. And there's your combined all together. Really, really handy. So, guys, that is it. That is weight as fast as I could do it for you. Hopefully, some of this is helpful. Goodbye for now.